With great sadness and sorrow, the Kuwaiti people, the Arab and Islamic nations, and the friendly peoples of the world mourned the death of the late Emir of the state of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabr Sabah, who moved to the realm of the Lord recently, ending a life full of accomplishments and achievements. Back in 2020, the people of Kuwait, as well as the parliamentary and political consensus, gave homage and pledge of allegiance to His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah as the Emir of Kuwait, marking a new chapter of prosperity and wisdom under the leadership of the new Emir. In this special program, we would like to recall the noble speeches and statements delivered by His Highness the late Emir Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah since assuming his post. Going back in time, the year 2021 witnessed many key occasions and events that was attended by His Highness the Emir, during which His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah delivered key speeches that reflected his wisdom and modesty as a leader. On the 5th of May 2021, His Highness the late Emir Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah delivered this speech marking the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan. In the speech, His Highness the late Emir took the advantage of those blessed nights to pray to Almighty Allah to preserve our beloved country Kuwait and the rest of the Muslim countries and to return it on the Arab and Islamic nations with goodness and blessings. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Sabah stressed that the people of Kuwait were experiencing exceptional circumstances that required caution due to the outbreak of the corona epidemic that swept the world and affected on all aspects calling on everyone to adhere to health precautions. His Highness the late Emir expressed appreciation and gratitude to the heroes who were working on the front lines and volunteers in all sectors, both citizens and residents, as they have carried on their shoulders throughout that period the task of confronting the corona epidemic in the country. Meanwhile, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Sabah affirmed that the state of Kuwait is our responsibility and vowed to prevent anyone from undermining its security and stability by spreading malicious calls aimed at harming the national unity. During the speech, His Highness the late Emir assured that the cooperation between the state authorities and institutions is the basis for any successful national action and the best method towards achievements that fulfill the development aspirations sought by Kuwait's loyal people. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf also stressed the importance of adhering to democratic approach, moving away from the atmosphere of tension and from all that calls for the division that leads to the slow pace of development in the country. His Highness the late Emir noted that the most important priority was taking care of Kuwait's promising youth to harness their full energies of vitality and sincerity to open future prospects for them by qualifying them with the best modern scientific and academic means and to instill the authentic Kuwaiti values rooted in our cultures and heritage to participate in the development process.
In the same year of 2021, on January 5th, His Highness the late Emir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah participated in the 41st session of the GCC Supreme Council meeting, dubbed Summit of Sultan Qaboos and Sheikh Sabah, that was held in the Saudi city of Al Ula. His Highness the late Emir delivered a statement extending his sincere gratitude to the custodian of the two holy mosques and to the government and people of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the warm reception, hospitality, excellent preparation and organization for the summit, praising the keenness on supporting the joint Gulf and Arab work and achieve the hopes and aspirations of the peoples. After signing Al Ula Agreement, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed welcomed that historic achievement and recalled the sincere and constructive role played by late Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, which greatly contributed to the success of this agreement. His Highness the late Emir also commended with great appreciation the good efforts that have been exerted by the United States of America, the Gulf Cooperation Council, and the Arab Republic of Egypt to achieve goals of the people in the region. His Highness the late Emir also expressed appreciation to the Saudi monarch for his generous initiative of titling the summit as Sultan Qaboos and Sheikh Sabah in recognition of the prominent journey of the deceased and their years of giving and serving the issues of the Arab and Islamic nations, international and humanitarian issues. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Sabah said that naming the summit's declaration as the Solidarity Agreement embodied its importance and reflected the keenness on the cohesion and unity of our nation. Going back to the 16th of November 2020, His Highness the late Emir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah focused his attention on domestic activities by paying visits to several states' institutions and centers, including the Ministry of Health, where he met with the medical staff and workers who carried the trust of preserving the health and safety of citizens and everyone who resides on this land with all dedication and sincerity. His Highness the late Emir said the workers have proven that they are the first line of defense for the homeland by fighting the COVID-19 epidemic and limiting its spread. Recalling with great pride the march of His Highness the late Emir, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and his remarkable role in promoting the health system, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Sabah affirmed the need to follow his rational approach. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed noted that the exceptional health circumstances proved the strength of the Kuwaiti unity at the time of adversity and the solidarity of its people in facing any challenges with determination, patience, and firmness. In this regard, His Highness the late Emir commended the great efforts and cooperation of the country's official and volunteered bodies to confront this epidemic, affirming that it represented in good planning and securing all medical needs, including hospitals, queries, equipment and treatment protocol, which contributed to increasing the number of recovered people. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed assured that officials will not spare any effort or capabilities in order to develop the efficiency and capabilities of this national institution and provide it with the latest equipment and the best cadres to enable it to perform its sacred duty to preserve public health.
The year 2020 witnessed other important events as well. On the 11th of November, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah paid a visit to the presidency of Kuwait Fire Force and met with the back then Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Interior, and Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs, Anas Khalid Al Saleh, the Chief of Kuwait Fire Force, Lieutenant General Khalid Al Makrad, as well as the leaders and employees of Kuwait Fire Force, military and civilians. During the visit, His Highness the late Emir expressed pleasure to meet Kuwait's loyal men who carry on their shoulders the responsibility of rescuing citizens and residents during adversity and preserving the public and private properties. His Highness the late Emir said they have proven their dedication and loyalty in performing their duties, despite the great danger they are exposed to. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed also praised the great efforts, cooperation and coordination of the brave firefighters and the official and volunteer bodies to confront the corona epidemic and their important services provided to citizens and residents during curfew periods which have effectively contributed to limiting the spread of the epidemic. His Highness the late Emir assured that the concerned bodies will spare no efforts to develop the efficiencies and capabilities of this national institution. On Monday, the 9th of November, 2020, His Highness the late Emir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah delivered a speech during a visit to the headquarters of the General Presidency of the National Guard. His Highness the late Emir met with the back then Under Secretary of the National Guard, Lieutenant General Engineer Hashim Al Fai, as well as the leaders, officers, and members of the National Guard military and civilians. During the event, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Sabah expressed pleasure to meet Kuwait's heroes who are doing their best to carry out their duties alongside their brothers in all parts of the state, representing a role model for discipline and law enforcement with firmness and ability. His Highness the late Emir praised the effective role played by the members of the National Guard and their support to their brothers in the army, the police forces and civilians in backing up the response to the corona epidemic and the application of precautionary measures to prevent its spread. While His Highness highly appreciated the great efforts of the National Guard, he affirmed his keenness to continue the support for this national entity to enable it to perform its duty to the fullest. His Highness the late Emir declared his deepest pride in their honorable national march, led by His Highness the head of the National Guard, Sheikh Salem Al Ali Al Salem Al Sabah. While paying tribute to the prominent role of His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Jabr al Sabah during his tenure as deputy head of the National Guard and for his tangible efforts to develop the efficiency of this national military institution. <laughs>
الوضع اللي يتطلب فيه ومطالبة شعبنا لازم نوفيها ونكملها لكل الطلبات اللي هم يعني يعانون منها وهذا نعم لازم الحكومة تفده نعم إن شاء الله نعم وأنت على راسهم يا أنك تقدر أيضا تلتقي مع أخوانك وهذا تلاحظون كل هذه المواضيع اللي تهم المواطن أنا يهم المواطن وراحته لا يقول لي أنا النظام الجيد الحين ما عمل لي شيء لا أبي أعرف إنه يعرف إن النظام الجيد جاء على أساس ينظم حال ويساعد كل المحتاج من شعبه والإصلاح اللي هو يبي يقدمه لشعبه والله يوفق الجميع وإن شاء الله بلغاتك مع أخوانك والأعضاء اللي شو اسمه تقدرون تبحثون هذه الأوضاع اللي تتطلب الشعب يعني يعاني منها شوي توفرونها له وهذا يعني شيء بسيط وتحت أمرتكم وإن شاء الله فيكم الوركة اللي تقدرون تحملون كل الواجب اللي يملي عليكم والله يوفق الجميع إن شاء الله من خدمة الوطن الموضوع The speech of His Highness the late Amir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah during his visit to the Ministry of Defense on the 2nd of November 2020 stressed the importance of the efforts exerted by Kuwait's valiant armed forces in defending our beloved country. The event was attended by the back then Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Sheikh Ahmed Mansour Al Ahmed Al Sabah, the Chief of General Staff of the Army, Lieutenant General Sheikh Khalid Saleh Al Sabah, as well as the leaders and employees of the Ministry of Defense, military and civilians. His Highness the late Emir was pleased to meet with the protectors of the homeland, who are in a state of constant readiness to sacrifice their lives for Kuwait in order to maintain its independence and sovereignty. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf said that Kuwait's army has proven over the years that it is the nation's bulwark and protective shield against invaders and aggressors. Thus it deserved the pride of the homeland and the love of its citizens. His Highness the late Emir stressed the keenness to enhance the efficiency and capabilities of the armed forces, developing and updating training, qualification and preparation methods in all its sectors, in order to enable them to carry out their sacred duty of protecting the homeland. One of the main events that took place in the year 2020 was the opening of the fifth complementary regular session of the 15th legislative term of the National Assembly on the 20th of October of that year. 
At the opening session, His Highness the late Emir, Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah, delivered his noble speech, praying to Allah Almighty to inspire all with the guidance and success to continue to work for the good of the country and the well being of its people. His Highness the late Emir said the National March has witnessed very difficult events, mainly the passing away of the late Emir Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah, recalling what he offered to his country, his people, his nation, and all humanity. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed emphasized the necessity of adhering to the solid national constants that would preserve our national unity, solidarity, and cooperation as one family. His Highness also affirmed the commitment to democracy as a method, the respect for the Constitution as a principle, and the rule of law and institutions as a system, as well as rationalizing the parliamentary practice. His Highness the late Emir called on all Kuwaitis to put the benefit of our beloved country first and express gratitude for the distinguished efforts and the positive role of the state's authorities and powers in organizing the political work and for their tireless efforts and remarkable achievements in light of difficult circumstances that the country has lived through as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al-Sabah also extended deep appreciation for the emotions of loyalty shown by the honorable fellow citizens after he assumed the throne praying to Almighty Allah to provide the state of Kuwait's officials with success in serving the country and its citizens. The most major event that took place back in 2020, specifically on the 30th of September, was the assumption to the throne by His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah, who took the constitutional oath as the Emir of the State of Kuwait before the National Assembly after the passing away of the late Emir Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Sabah delivered his first noble speech, recalling with all pride his correct guidance of the late Emir and his parental advice that reflect his love for Kuwait and its people, which will remain a guiding light and a consistent approach. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed stressed that Kuwait has been subjected to serious challenges and harsh tribulations during its long history. However, Kuwaitis succeeded in passing them all through unity and cooperation. While referring to these challenges, His Highness the late Emir affirmed his pride in the constitution and the democratic approach, as well as the commitment to the country's firm principles that reflect the one family spirit in the Kuwaiti society. His Highness the late Emir pledged to Almighty Allah and the people of Kuwait that he will do his best and exert every possible effort to preserve the pride of Kuwait, protect its security and stability, and guarantee the dignity and well-being of its people.
His Highness the late Emir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah will always be remembered for addressing his duties with full realization of how precious the homeland is and how we need to serve it and safeguard its stability and security. The state of Kuwait has witnessed evolution and progress in all fields since the independence and during the reigns of 16 rulers who sacrificed their lives to serve the country and its people. And now we believe that Kuwait will achieve further growth in the reign of Al Sabah family that will always be followed by the loyal Kuwaiti people with the aim of maintaining peace, security, development, law and sovereignty of the country.